Christy, I really do want to thank all of you for coming. It's, uh, it's a Wednesday night. I fucking hate Wednesdays. <laughs> On the way here, I said to my wife, can we just fucking broom this thing? <laughs> but I don't really feel like going. She's like, Ron, they're all coming to see you. I was like, fuck! <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but seriously, anybody that came here for me tonight, or anybody really that needs me for anything, any kind of event, Anything you need me for, I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Probably. Like, if it's a weekday, I, I probably wouldn't make it. I hate going out of the house on a weekday, but if you have... Seriously, I'm being serious from my heart. If you have anything on a weekend that you need me to be at... Uh, Sundays, I like to fucking relax, though, but if you have something... If you have something... I'm serious. On a Saturday... Um, Later in the day, because I like to sleep in a little bit on but if you have something on Saturday and it's later in the day, maybe between two and four, and uh, if it's outside, it can't be the winter because I fucking get cold. So either indoor or in the summertime. I'm, I'm being serious here. A Saturday between, so let's say, Let's say you have a function you need help with on a Saturday between two and four. Um, in the summertime, because it can't be too cold, I will give it tons of consideration. And if I, like if it's really hot, I have a pool so I wouldn't go, but if it was like 68 to 72 degrees on a Saturday in the summer, and uh, you know, like I wasn't golfing or, or a sport event wasn't on, I don't care what I'm doing, I would be there. Seriously, so just remember that. But I have to thank Mark Ridley. I met him tonight. I have to thank him for giving us this place to, for the evening. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ridley. Because if not, we'd be in the back of an Applebee's somewhere. And that wouldn't be the same. Now, the thing you guys don't know, there's a, there's a big hallway that goes all the way back right here, and it's all white. And everybody that's been here gets to sign their name. I mean, there's fucking Tim Allen and... Sinbad and everybody has signed this wall. So I'm back there and I'm like, fuck, I, I was here back last year. I'm about to go out now. Why the fuck couldn't I sign the wall? So I start looking around for a Sharpie and, and I'm checking everything, there's no Sharpie and as I'm coming to check with somebody, there's some guy walking down the hall at me, he looks like the manager or something but I can tell he's got a little bit of an attitude. Maybe one of those guys that wanted to be a comedian that didn't work out, and so now he's working here fucking scrubbing floors or something. So I said, hey, buddy, I, I said, I'm looking for the Sharpie. Do you know where a black Sharpie is? And he just fucking looks right at me, and he, you know, real dead face. He goes, why? <laughs> and I'm like, because of the walls. They're, you know, everybody writes on the wall that's been here, and, and I'm going to do a... I'm gonna do a set out there, and I want to sign the wall. <laughs> and he looks again, and, and he just looks at me and just goes, why? <laughs> so now I'm getting pissed. And I didn't think I was gonna have to fucking beat somebody's ass before I came out here. <laughs> but I would, I'd fucking do it in a minute. <laughs> so I'm looking at this guy, fucking sizing him up, like, you're just a fucking dick. And don't blame me because you're flipping burgers in the back of the comedy castle. So I'm basically getting ready to fucking drop him. I'm not saying nothing, I'm just looking at him and he's looking up and like, like he wouldn't say a word to me either, but so I, I feel my muscles tensing up and just getting ready to fucking, I'm going in like a ninja shit. Where you, don't, you probably guys don't know this if you hadn't had training, but your body just takes over. So he's looking at me and I'm like, fucking, you have no idea what's about to happen to you. And just then another guy comes walking up from the back. He's got like a white, looks like a chef's outfit on or something. And I'm thinking, that's no fucking problem. <laughs> I've been trained to take on two motherfuckers in a small area. So I start thinking, the new guy's going down first. <laughs> Cause he's a little bigger. 
But that's what they always say, knock the fucking big guy down first. And the other guy's going to go, whoa. So, <laughs> so the big guy, the guy in the white comes up. And like I say, I'm just getting ready to fucking make my move. And he starts talking to the other guy. He's like, and I'm like, what the fuck? And the first guy walks away. And the, the guy in the white turns to me and says, I am very sorry. That is my brother. He just come from Albania two days ago and he doesn't really know any words, maybe one or two words. <laughs> I said, he, he seems like a very nice guy. <laughs> so that was a bit of a misunderstanding I had in the back.